All right, so let's get into the process of making the clone selfie. So you've already taken your multiple photos. The best way to get them from your phone to computer is going to be email. If you're working on a Mac, of course, you can airdrop them, but Windows, email is your best move. This is a completed version of what we'll make. And you can see if you look in the layers panel, I have my three images set up as separate layers, and each of the, the top two, looking in the lower right here, folks, the top two have a layer mask that is revealing the other layers that are hidden below. So that's our preview. Let's get started. So I'm going to go and open up my first image. It honestly doesn't matter what excuse me, what uh, sequence you open these up in, because we can always rearrange the layers. So I've got my first one open. Now for the next two, I'm going to go to File, choose Place Embedded, and go find and open and place the other two. Now you'll notice I'm not moving, I'm not resizing. I place it and I click the check mark up on the top menu bar, and then I go back to File, Place Embedded, and go find my third image. Okay, so they're all set there. Of course, the top two layers are hiding the layer below. So we need to deal with that first. So let's look at the bottom right-hand layers panel. And you'll notice next to each layer, there's an eyeball. If I click it, it hides that layer. Layer's not gone, it's just hidden. Same with the one below, and I guess I could hide them all. But I don't want to hide them all. I want to hide my top layer only. So you'll notice only the top layer is hidden. The eyeball is not selected. I'm going to click on the middle layer and apply a layer mask. Like that. Okay, so there's my layer mask. Make sure the layer mask stays selected for what we do next. So now I will grab the brush tool and use the bracket keys to get a larger brush. And I'm going to start painting where the other version of me is. Now real quick, if you find yourself that you start painting and nothing happens, remain calm. Just press the letter X on the keyboard and you'll be able to start to reveal the other person. So you can watch me paint away here. And the key thing here is just to make sure that you reveal everything. Don't leave a little chunk missing. It looks awkward. Like that part of my arm. All right, so we've got that part revealed. Fantastic. Let's go to the top layer, reveal that, click on the top layer, click on the layer mask that's going on the top layer. So you'll notice my top two layers now have layer masks. And I'm going to stay on that layer mask, go to my brush, adjust the brush size with the bracket keys, and I'm going to start brushing over here. Now, I'm going to be slightly picky as a photographer at this point. Because of the way my phone settings were, the exposure changed. Not a big deal, but I don't want to have anything awkward where like half the computer screen is dark and half is light. So be the kind of quality person that I know you are and just make sure that you brush in neatly so that you catch all those parts where there might be a difference in light and dark. Okay, looking good so far. Now we're going to move into this part here. Now this takes a little more detail work, right? That part was easy, but where I have to be careful is if I go too far here, I cut into myself. Ouch. So what am I going to do about that? Well, I can press the X on the keyboard and clean that up. It's going to help a lot 
if I go to Command Plus, reduce my brush size with the bracket keys, and then just take your time, friends, working around the edges of the photo to clean it up as much as possible. And this will make your life a lot easier if you just take your time, zoomed in a lot. And this is going to be interesting here. Won't it? Now, another option that you have is to use one of the selection tools to select out part of your picture so that it is easier to mask around. And let me show you that real quick. I'm going to do this around my baseball cap and face. So I'm going to go to the selection tool and drag around like that. And now if I start brushing, you see nothing happens. I have to invert my selection. So go to select and choose inverse. And now I'm going to zoom a lot so you can see this. Control plus. You can see I can get right up to that selection and I can go so much faster. So the choice is yours. You can either just work your way around slowly or you could select part of your image to protect it. Now you'll notice up here the emblem on my cap, that part struggled some. So we're going to go up and do Control or Command D to deselect my image. Zoom in a lot. Remember, if it doesn't do what you want, just press the letter X. You are in charge. You've got this. Catch that little bit there. Look out for the stuff where you might have missed a blob like that. And now I'm just going around doing final checks for anything that might just look a little strange, like this change in exposure here. I wasn't really liking, so I'm being extra detailed and picking that up. I'll go down in here and make sure that I'm not missing other parts. And after a little fine tuning, your clone selfie will be ready for viewing. I'm going to leave it at that so you don't have to watch me fine tune any further. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you're doing this for an assignment, you're tuning in, you're turning in two different compositions. One is going to be you only. The other one could be you and other people. If you want to bring some other folks into it, I think that's a great idea. Submit both as a JPEG, and I can't wait to see your work. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.